Can you set up Instagram and Facebook shopping without having your own website, without purchasing a domain? You'll find out exactly in today's video. Hi everyone, I'm Lydia. On the channel, we talk about social media marketing growth for business. So if you're interested in those topics, make sure to subscribe down below. So basically, can you redirect people to domains you haven't purchased, to domains you don't own, to purchase your products when enabling Instagram product tagging? In today's video, I will explain exactly why that cannot be done and what you actually need to do with your your website that doesn't allow you to have another platform which domain you cannot verify so first things first you require domain verification so you need to verify your business domain your website domain in Facebook business manager you do that by going to your business settings, brand safety and domains there you will need to add your domain without the extension so just write incomingsuccess.com then add it get the code and then Paste that onto your website. You need to have access to the head section of your website to actually put that code in there and verify your domain. If you want to learn how to do that step by step, make sure to watch this video right here. Also, one domain cannot be verified by two different business managers in Facebook. So that means that you need to own that domain and it needs to be a unique domain that only you own and that you've purchased. Reason number two, when uploading your products to your catalog, for each product you will need to add a link that directs people to that specific product so they can purchase them. That domain that has the product needs to be the same as the one you verified because it needs to lead people to your website to purchase your products. If you don't do that, you will get an error saying that product is unavailable on your website because it is not clear to Facebook that that is your website where you're trying to sell your products. Reason number three, you will need to go to your commerce account to settings edit and add your business email there also you will need to add your domain there as well so you'll need to confirm once again that you have your own website that you're selling your product on also in facebook commerce eligibility requirements they require that your instagram professional account represents your business and your domain so you need to make it clear for them that you represent your website on your Instagram account. There they also mention the domain verification process. So it obviously doesn't make sense that you would be able to use a domain that is not yours. Reason number four, when applying for this feature, they ask you once again, what is your business email and what is your domain? So they will ask you once again so they can check and verify what is the domain where you're actually selling those products. That being said, all the products that you've added in the catalog that you've selected to apply for this feature need to be sold on the website on that specific domain that you've added there and reason number five when you set up your returns policy and your shipping in Facebook Commerce Manager so again you can apply successfully for this feature they ask you what is the return policy link that you have on your website again that link needs to be on your website on your verified domain for them to be able to verify it and check out if your returns policy is the same as you've added in the settings there. If you don't know how to set up shipping and returns, please watch this video right here. So given all that, Facebook and Instagram take this very seriously, having your own website, having a domain that you verify and where you sell your products because they don't want you leading people to other websites that are not yours and just people clicking random links on their platform. They also require you to establish a presence on your Instagram account and your Facebook page before even applying for this feature. So obviously they take this platform really seriously seriously and so should you. I will try to see if this can be enabled with other e-commerce platforms but I'm not sure that can be done so I will test this out in future videos and let you know if it is possible for your platform. To be able to see that in the future make sure to subscribe down below and also like this video if you've enjoyed it and if it helped you out. You can also leave a comment down below if you have any other questions and you can also follow me on Instagram at lady.incomingsuccess. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you in my next video.